since the beginning of time. Our elders have played and continue to play an important role in our communities. Sharing knowledge, stories and guiding our future generations. South Sydney Rabbitohs continue to draw strength from our Indigenous roots and proudly represent all the great Indigenous players who have worn the Cardinal and Myrtle. This is our 2023 Indigenous jersey. Always was and always will be. It's a great, um, you know, theme for this year's um, NAIDOC for our elders, particularly just because of, um, you know, what would have went on, um, you know, hundreds of years ago to, you know, throughout their lives and what they would have had to deal with as young kids. Um, to be able to listen and learn about that is, is always quite special and shows us the strength of our people, um, shows the resilience of our people that we're still here, still strong and proud of who we are and where we come from. So it's a quite fitting um, theme for this year's NAIDOC and, and for this year's jersey. Um, well, my nan now, she's actually still, she, she's a Lapiri's elder. She um, she still works on the, down at the Lapiri's house. So um, she she's pretty special down there. She always tells me stories of when we are younger. Pretty important, obviously, um, to remember where we've come from and uh, we wouldn't know you know our own culture if it weren't for them and obviously everything that they've been through in the past um, everything that you know indigenous people in general have gone through in the past um, you know stems down through our elders and and um, yeah we're, we're a strong race obviously everything they've been through um, and that strength is getting passed down you know to be on their land and um, make sure that we're respecting it and um, you know little stories about where we were and what was you know happening on that on that particular beach is you know, very special and um, I think that's what we do very well here at, at South is um, you know respect the, the First Nations culture and um, you know Aunty Barb and um, Uncle Dean coming along and you know, being a part of that is, um, is always special. Um, I've got aunties and uncles that I've looked up, look up to my whole life, um, I've always been around family and to treat them with respect is a big thing. Um, they're, your, they're your elders, they're the people that look after you, that take care of you. So you've got to treat them with respect and um, just look after them as you get older as well. And you've got to be very proud of that because like I am, I you know, always grew up knowing that I was you know, Aboriginal and, and loving to learn more about my culture because it obviously got taken away from us, but it, it's, it's survived and it's actually rebuilding itself from the ground up and it's I'm loving every minute of it. You know reconnecting with it is something special, um, something I, I'm truly you know passionate about and um, any time, any place you know you can connect to country and um, and I think our elders are definitely you know someone I look up to I've got a great you know leadership in in my lifestyle and, and in my life and um, you know the way I lead and present myself is the way I've been taught. Um, any time or not an elder, old uncle or old aunties speak and you know we always listen so it's um yeah it's very important. The the shoot was pretty special, obviously um being on our land, so just down at Little Bay there. Um, first time for me getting painted so um, I really liked how the photos came out and obviously the jersey too, you know, every year it just gets better and better and um, to have you know, majority of the boys in in the squad, um, you know, come along and um, be in the shoot as well with, you know, their kids and um, you know the little girls coming in and um, dressing up as well is, you know, pretty special. Um, it's important that we um, do those sort of things that, you know, make our kids proud to be who they are and where they come from. And um, yeah, my kids absolutely loved it. Yeah, it was an early morning. I think we woke up at about four and uh, Sonny was cranky at first. Obviously, didn't know what was going on. We got him out there and uh, saw all the other boys putting the paint on and he was a good boy. He saw me putting the paint on and he couldn't, couldn't wait to, you know, get involved and, and um, st he stood still, got it all on. He loved the morning. Um, 
got in the water. He was shivering, but he was, you know, stood there and yeah, it was a pretty special moment to, to be amongst all the other lads and their kids as well. It's it's special. It's something that um, the feeling I have of my kids painted up and sharing their culture as well, it's, it's oh, it means everything to me. And a couple of the boys in the New South Wales Cup squad, you know, probably um, haven't done a, a shoot like that before. So, you know, getting them involved is always important. Um, yeah, it was obviously very special on sunrise and the, and the pictures turned out amazing. Um, one that will keep for forever. You wonder why people want to play at this club because, you know, and wonder why Aboriginal communities support this this club is because of you know, what they've done in the past. And it's not just made up overnight, it's been able to, over time they've created this legacy, you know, of being a great club and great foundation it's for blackfellas. Um, non-Indigenous to be able to connect and be one together and that's what you feel under this roof here in Efron. You know the Rabbitohs are showing the way with um, you know how Aboriginal culture should be celebrated um, that's no certainly no knock on to any other club but you walk through these walls you know that um, you know we have a deep history um, a deep connection with our Aboriginal culture you can just feel it it's an amazing feeling to be a part of a club um, like that yeah, it's, it's hard to put into words, but um, makes you very proud to go out there and put on those colours each and every week. Always was and always will be.